The Serpentine Gallery in Kensington Gardens is a leading venue for contemporary art shows and a fitting place for a retrospective of one of Britain's most influential artists. The exhibition is entitled Modern Moral Matters and focuses on Richard Hamilton's political works. Hamilton has long had his finger, or paintbrush, on the pulse of the time. I was asked not so long ago and at Inverleaf House when there was a, a discussion uh, how it was that so many of my paintings produce icons. And uh, I realized that it, it isn't my fault, <laughs> that it just happens. This is a founding document of pop art. It's from 1956 and predates Andy Warhol's work. It's been reproduced countless times. This whole business of, uh, of uh, what, what we call pop is for me more to do with the fact that the images are second hand. In the 1960s, when Warhol was making his famous pictures of Marilyn Monroe, Hamilton also offered an interpretation of the American icon. In the series Swinging London from the 1960s, he showed his art dealer Robert Fraser and rock star Mick Jagger in handcuffs after a drugs bust. The picture is based on a newspaper photo. He recycled it in many media as a print, painting and photo. The curators of the show are the two directors of the gallery, Julia Payton-Jones and Hans-Ulrich Oberist, who's from Switzerland. The images that we all surround ourselves and the world that we live in are, of course, ubiquitous. The press is endemic. We are informed, we're coloured by the world around us, by the media in a wide variety of different forms. What's so interesting about what he does is that he then manipulates it back because he takes it, he turns it, he twists it, he represents it. As in Kent State, a critical work from 1970. The artist's response to events in the United States where the National Guard opened fire on an anti-war demonstration at Kent State University, killing four students. Hamilton photographed TV news pictures, creating an almost abstract image. As time's gone by, I've become a little more serious about this, and so there are events like the shooting of students in Kent, at Kent State, which have moved me to the extent that I felt it it necessary to, to, to make some comment. Richard Hamilton, Hamilton is not only one of the most influential artists in England, he's also one of the most complex. The idea was to focus on his political works as a way into his entire oeuvre. To look, for example, at the way he investigates new technologies. He was among the first to play with computers. Very early on, he melded photography and painting. All that is addressed at this retrospective. Hamilton experimented with a variety of techniques. He combined prints, photos and paint, or stuck cloth onto his canvases, as in The State, which dates from 1993. Hamilton's pictures are always a little pop art and feel. He represented British Prime Minister Tony Blair as a cowboy. My next job is to go to the Prado in, in Madrid because there's an exhibition which opens in three weeks' time of a, an etching that I did, and I'm very proud. The exhibition in London honours a living legend of art history.